Yo, I'm kind of bored. Like, there's nothing else to learn, you know? Is there, though? You can still pick up Java. Java has received so much stigma, and I was wondering, is it really that bad? Let's put it this way. If you have psychopathic tendencies, then you're gonna love this video. I tried a few of the different things that you can do in Java to really get a feel for the language. Going through the docs was quite a breeze, as I already had experience with C-sharp. Print LN. Okay, so there we go. Uh, my first print to land. Okay, I'm now a, a Java pro. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, what is Java? Java is a popular programming language created in 1995. I'm actually dreading this. I don't know what the conventions are. We're not going to shout at me for that. This is my first time. Okay, guys. I honestly haven't touched Java before. We'll try and pl print 9 plus 10 uh, because that's really funny and original. And 9 plus 10 is 19, it is not 21, uh, so that proves millions of people wrong. Yeah, we've got booleans, that makes sense. Characters, this makes, this is pretty self-explanatory. Oh yeah, and okay, so this is quite similar to C in the fact that you can actually assign numbers to, to characters and it will just convert it. Is that possible? No, it isn't. <laughs> but that is that is all about the experimentation. Uh, hang on, these, these, t okay, I've not, I've not seen these before. What are these? <laughs> These are bitwise operators. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, I've not actually touched on bitwise operators. I've just heard the term used a lot. But that's fine. That's okay. Uh, because this seems like something I can probably pick up later if I really need to. People always complain that Java is just pain. So <laughs> we will debunk that this week. And we will give the final decision on whether Java is bad or not. Because nobody else's opinion matters. Only mine. That's just how it works. I'm just speedrunning this. This should have been called like Java speedrun. We gotta continue. Yeah, exactly the same. Arrays, arrays is probably something I'm gonna have to go over. I'm not actually sure if in Java these are dynamic or not. I don't think they are. I'm not sure we can actually print out raw arrays, uh, but let's have a look. This is the determination of, is it cool? No, it's not cool. It's just prints out garbage like C and C++. I, I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure this is what happens to C sharp anyway. Oh, okay. We've got some syntax sugar here and I respect that. I like syntax sugar to a certain extent. That's very, that's very self-explanatory. Can we not have primitive types in here? That's interesting. Oh, okay, so you have to use a non-primitive type bit. That's stupid. That's the first stupid thing I've seen in this language. Nums.add, and then we can add an integer here. Uh, we print this. That's an interesting one. Uh, does this print how we want it to print that? Okay, so it does print it out. It does prettify it. Okay, Java lost my respect for a minute, but yeah, that's okay. This is definitely C++ 5. This is just like dumbed down C++. Oh, just use the arrow okay i'm with you that's just weird i've never seen that be necessary before that is very weird i'm presuming that we can just access these methods using this or something that's weird if we have to make a new instance that's just weird do we really have to make a new instance that doesn't make sense to me do we not have setters and getters in java then i mean i'm not complaining it's not a big deal it's just something that's quite common in oop languages i mean i'm not complaining it's just uh for such an old language, like a language that's literally like 27 years old, I would have thought they'd have something like that. Uh, a lot of this object-oriented stuff I'm probably not actually going to use because it seems it seems like it, these are nice things to have, but they're not actually necessary whatsoever. I worked on a quick login system in the console. I say quick, it took like an hour, but... <laughs> Sorry for my sloppy coding skills here, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. That's interesting. It usually isn't the full Boolean keyword. Usually it's just bull. But I guess Java just want to add that extra bit of suffering. You know what? We're abandoning 4H now. I'm not entirely sure how we check for the username. Maybe maybe Java's just dumb. Oh, we have to use gets? That's kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> so sign up. Bob12. And then log in. Bob12. Logged in is Bob. Say dot user is Joe. Users, Bob and Joe. Beautiful stuff. Um, the most basic thing I could have ever made, which took way longer than it should have. That is uh, embarrassing. Next, I hit up Black Knight, who helped me to build a Minecraft plugin, as he already had a lot of experience with this. Where it says generators, click on Minecraft, click on Spigot. Let's go into unenable and add the print line. So type preload, confirm. And we there got our hello world. world. There we yeah. go. The challenge that I'm going to give you is, for example, if you break sand, I so want sand. it to show up in the chat, broken sand. So event.block, get type. Okay, that's, <laughs> sorry that I'm guessing. <laughs> Broadcast message. And then we want to say block type was broken. Okay, easy. Let's say that when a villager takes damage, you want to spawn a golem. <laughs> I can see you're a C lover. Oh, so wait, you can you not do that in Java? You don't like it. Uh, I, it wasn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to. Okay. Full. Ah. 
We're getting somewhere. Create explosion, here we go. Ah, now we're onto something. Whoa! Nice. That's crazy. Table it, but uh, we don't need that. Oh my god! <laughs> you just crashed the server. We have learned our lesson. <laughs> I had to try yeah. it. Th there are rules, okay? <laughs> Moment of truth. We have a pig! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we can vibe up here, yeah? <laughs> Finally, I decided to try GUIs, as I already had experience with this in C Sharp. I thought it would be interesting to compare the two. Uh, we run that, we just get a hello, and then we click that, we say, Welcome to the Java Effects application. I have no idea what any of this means, by the way, guys, so please bear with me. This should log hello world in the console. It is a little bit slow, which is quite interesting. I don't know why that is. One thing that Java Effects actually has is it actually has CSS support, and that will make it really easy to make a UI if I can just use CSS. One complaint I do have, which is a quite a small complaint, is that there's no autocomplete for strings. Hopefully, hopefully we can figure out this grid thing because this is actually very confusing. As much as CSS can be annoying, it's quite good to have. It makes things like managing UI a lot cleaner in a way. So obviously we can enter username here and password here. I actually really like how it adds these dots here if you shrink it too much. Uh, that's something that we don't have in like web development. You have to manually implement that. So that is a nice thing to have actually. I rate that. Yeah, the likelihood is I'm not going to be making a very nice looking UI today, but we're going to make something fun functional. We're going to make something that works, <laughs> not necessarily something that looks nice. It looks like you have to use custom properties anyway, so that's kind of dumb, to be honest. But that's okay, we can we can figure this out later. One thing I have a tendency to do is actually just to not really read the documentation, read like one or two pages, and then go off and do my own thing. And that's a very healthy thing to do, to experiment, but a lot of the time I just don't come back to it. So today is the day, that's not going to happen, and we're going to do this properly. Oh wow, this is... <laughs> okay, <laughs> Wait, this is going to take me a second, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> I just realized how goddamn this easy this is going to be because we're already using this as a template. Okay, let's calculate it. Apparently it's zero, so that's not right. <laughs> so we've obviously we've obviously done something wrong here. And actually, I think this might be because I, I converted this to an integer instead of a float. In fact, that's certainly what the problem is. But you know, okay, is that right? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like that's right. This is way off. <laughs> oh, I put centimeters instead of meters. My bad. <laughs> that's better. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, this is what happens when you code in Java for three days straight. The conclusion I have come to after three days of Java experience is that Java can really be a pain in the ass. The overall design of the language is quite confusing, and the types definitely take a bit more time to get a grasp of. It definitely felt like a dumbed down C++. Personally, I still prefer C Sharp, as it's more intuitive and follows more common design patterns. Java, however, is a language that's been used in the industry for 27 years, and because of this, it's probably going to linger around for some time. 